Hi, this is Tribal Jazzman Scholar. I'm Paul Aston, and I have a special episode. I want to talk about the BP oil spill because it's once again this problem of numbers. You know, I hear from BP that they estimate 220,000 gallons of oil a day spilling into the Gulf. I don't know how much that is. I mean, I can calculate with large numbers, but I don't know how much, you know, 5,000 barrels is or 220,000 gallons. And then a professor of Earth Sciences at University of California, Berkeley, says, no, it's actually much more than that. It's 4.2 million gallons a day spilling into the Gulf, his upper end estimate. I don't know how much that is either. So um, we've got these two estimates, you know. We've got the 220,000 gallons that BP's estimate mating and the 4.2 million gallons that is the upper estimate for the professor from Berkeley. So I'm going to take the difference. I'm just going just to split it right down the middle and say, let's say there's 2 million, 210,000 gallons of oil spilling into the Gulf. Okay. Now, I'm going to talk about how much that is by using an analogy with paint. Uh, I used to paint houses, and a gallon of paint roughly can cover 350 square feet. That's an area, you know, maybe 50 feet by 70 feet. That would be 350 square feet. Just to be clear, a um, gallon of paint can cover 350 square feet. A square foot is, is an area that's a foot by a foot. And a um, gallon of paint can cover 350 square feet. So, you know, you paint quite a few walls with a gallon of paint. Now, if there's 2 million gallons of this oil, 200... 2,210,000 spilling to the Gulf daily. You can calculate the area that that could cover if you could paint that oil onto the surface by just multiplying that number by 350 because that's the amount one gallon can cover. So I've got my 2,210,000 times 350 and I get this number, this very large number, 773 and a half million square feet. So I'm, I've got a big number again. What is 773 million square feet. I mean, exactly what is that? And you could take that square foot and you could line up one after the other. You could line up 773 million of those. That would be 773 million feet. Those are foot wide each. So how far is that? Well, you got to figure out, let's talk about miles. Let's put it into miles. So you got you to gotta know how many feet are in a mile and there happens to be uh, 5,280 feet. So I just do a division problem here. I take that 773 million and I divide it by the number of feet in a mile and I get this number. 146,496 miles. That means, that means that I could paint a foot wide strip of oil for that 146,496 miles in a day. That's how much oil is leaking out if we take that kind of middle estimate. I could take all that oil and with a paintbrush I could paint a foot wide stripe 146,000 miles. Well, How far is that? Well, let's use the Earth's equator. The distance around the Earth at the equator is 24,902 miles. So, if you just do another division problem, we can tell you how many times you could paint a stripe around the Earth. Just take that 146,000, that's our distance we could paint, and then we divide that by the circumference of the Earth and we get 5.9. That means every day this gusher of oil pouring into the Gulf a mile below the, Earth, the surface of the ocean, it's, it's equivalent on a daily basis to enough paint to paint a foot wide strip six times around the earth. That's a lot of oil and this has been gushing for 45 days. So you could take that foot and you could multiply it by six and you could actually do a stripe that's six feet wide one time around the earth or for 45 days you could do a strip that's 250 feet wide of oil one time around the earth. I mean, it's a lot of oil, however you look at it. I hope they can stop that gusher, and I hope they can clean up that mess. But we need to understand these numbers when they throw them at us, and they're that big. Tribal Jazzman Scholar Paul Aston will be back.